Everyone dreams of flying, soaring through the sky, imagining you have wings. But what if your dream of flying came true? Nate Potvin, pilot, not of a plane, but of a 150-foot flying robot on the Disney XD series, Mech X4. We're here at the Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum in Compton, California, and we're gonna meet some real high flyers. Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum, it's a living classroom. We've actually serviced over 10,000 kids in the last 17 years. Every day we get between 30 and 120 kids here. There's over 4,000 kids actively enrolled in the program. It brings diversity and aviation together. I was 15 years old when I set a world record by becoming the youngest African-American female to pilot a plane from Compton, California to Newport News, Virginia. Kimberly was an amazing young lady. She showed up here when she was 12 years old and we said, oh great, you want to be a pilot? And she said, no, I want to be a cardiovascular surgeon, but I also want to learn how to fly. Here at Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum, I learned about the history of the Tuskegee Airmen, which is the history of black pilots who fought for our country in World War II who go unrecognized. Well, the Tuskegee Airmen was known as a group, but Charles Anderson, better known as Chief Anderson, he was the driving force behind that. Similar to my flight, Chief Anderson made the first round trip cross country flight in 1933. During his epic flight across America, uh, in Los Angeles, he made a stop at the Grand Central Air Terminal, which is now owned by Disney. Without Chief Anderson, there would have been no Tuskegee Airmen, there would be no Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum. The best known achievements was uh, Eleanor Roosevelt showed up in Tuskegee, Alabama, and she said, well, you know what, I'd like to go for a flight with you, Chief Anderson. And he was so skilled, by the end of that flight, the Tuskegee Airmen got the green light to go and make history. Chief Anderson was uh, one of the most important figures that uh, we basically had because he was involved with training nearly all of the pilots. It's important to remember the Tuskegee Airmen because they're a living example of what is possible. I have no doubt if it was not for the Tuskegee Airmen, World War II would not have the same outcome. They were absolutely vital and essential to us winning that war. Thanks to historical pilots such as Chief Anderson and the Tuskegee Airmen, you can fly as high as your imagination will take you. Thank you, Chief Anderson, for your bravery, your perseverance, and your leadership. Commemorating Black History Month. True heroes? are timeless.